Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Monsieur Mokolover, in which right now we're looking at our little tiny province down here in what basically is Ningbo, but our Ningbo, with a few sprinkles of 16 or maybe 23 Frenchmen. Not much. Ah, we've got a few soldiers here there. Not too much around here. Oh, we're converting some of the people to Catholicism and Protestantism. Actually, regarding our population wise, we've got a couple comments to go through as well. Our religion is mostly Catholic, which is expected, but we have 1% Protestant, which is, okay, the South Germans are Protestant. Uh, we have some Jews as well, and some Muslims, which makes perfect sense. we got some Jews in Paris, totally cool. Alright, we got some uh, Mahayana, cool. Regardless, right now, what we're going to do is hopefully fix our budget, because it's been god-awful ever since we had all those rebellions. And I went back to the Legitimatist party, or party right now, just because uh, I needed it to raise my tariffs. Yeah, we're, we're really not doing well in money. And give it one more month before we go to war with the Qing Empire. Yeah, I think it'd be best to wait a month, maybe. And get these guys over here, too. So, uh, Maybe come down here. Yeah, I'll go over here first. So I asked you guys yesterday, like, what do you guys do when you invade Qing China and Victoria, too? Well, some of you guys say you just come around Hainan, and then, you know, isolate the island, let some guys come in, and then cut them off by putting your fleet around here, so then cut them off and then kill them off. Uh, sometimes they just go straight into China. You guys didn't say you normally blockade them, but we'll see what happens when we do this. Punitive expedition? Why not? Oh, actually, I want to call in our allies, too, probably. Let's call it... Oh, America! Why? That's so ugly. Oh, they'll probably fix it out, though. That's probably okay. Our allies include who? Uh, truce with Mexico until 50... Oh, this year! Oh, oh basically, 1853. Nice. Protected by... Allied with... Uh, sure. I should have done this a little bit better than this. We'll call in the Pope, because the Pope loves us. And we'll call in a couple of Italian buddies. Nice. Alright, so I'm a little worried that they might just come into here and try to attack our armies. So we're going to come over there. Oh, we're fighting their... Oh, uh, that's not good. I didn't put this on high. But then again, I mean, their ships aren't that good. we got clinical thermometers and biannual stethoscopes. Nice! Very cool. Blowing their ships up. Not even losing a single person. Very good. And these guys aren't very strong. They just literally had their civil war with the Heavenly Kingdom, so... It is what it is. Oh, they're blockading us? I don't think so, sir. So. Oh, no, not again. Oh, I can't deal with this. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is not good. This is really not good. I wanted to make more armies, but oh, crap. This is not good. Um, we've been trying to build our... Oh, there's another army over there, too. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Please do not go through there. Uh, just kind of staying home for now. Oh, God, I hate rebels. Oh, good Lord. Despair our soul. Oh, uh, don't worry about that, guys. Just stay here. No, no, don't get on the boat. Stay there. And I lost 3,000. France, please. Baby, rebellions, don't do it. Don't do it to us, please. I just went to war with these guys. You don't even have... Uh, I have some militancy, but still. Come on, man. I think I might go for more tax reform after this, because we're going to lose a lot of money. God dang it, you pieces of garbage. Ugh. Why? Oh, please help me out, guys. I, I don't know if we'll actually be able to do too much. They have so many divisions, so many brigades and such. I had to go to Legitimatists so we could raise our tariffs, because we need money. The government needs money. Money, 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 money. I guess probably do that. Do those guys pretty easily. Uh, it's a bad time to go to war, then. <laughs> but hopefully we can conquer a few places really quickly, and that really shouldn't be an issue for us, then. Yeah, we got like, no money. I'm also doing this just because China can give you a lot of money when you do your war goal against them, so that's pretty good. So we'll be in debt for a little bit. And I don't like seeing the uh, newspaper thing, so that's good. Morale 15%, not too bad. Um, actually, keep an eye on what we have down here. That's why I'm doing this instead. Oh, proposed peace. No, 3%. Uh, you can demand concessions or get a sub-state. I don't do that just because this one gives you money. So, and we could really use money. Actually, yeah, we could do reparations, acquire a sub-state region. Of, oh, that's not bad. I might do that one next time, maybe. Or even demand a concession. For, oh, for most of it would not be bad, but this is pretty good where we're at right now, I would say. Oh, boy. Uh, Carlos Spain, no. Oh, God, the Koreans are coming in. It's only the Koreans, though. Okay, so for here on, well, I need more money. I don't want to do this. It costs more time to do this stuff, and I don't want to do that, but... Industry would be good. I'm going to go and grab business banks just because I need more money. Oh, uh, you know what? You find the Koreans, we're going to stamp them out, hopefully. God dang it. Oh, 
Oh, we lost the battle. Oh god, not to the rebels. Mm. Oh, don't tell me this is going to be a, a common occurrence in France from here on out. 3,000. We still have some army still doing okay here, so. You're my ally. Can I... Hmm. Well, we'll slowly be taking them all out, which is a good thing. Oh, my goodness. They're not that strong, really? Oh, man. God dang it. We're at six. If we keep doing what we're doing... Hey! Some Sicilians are down here. If they attack us, we gotta move quickly. So I wanna keep an eye on these groups. Nice. If I can get one more province, that should be good enough. I'm gonna wait to get down here, and then I'm gonna kill these guys off too. Constitutional crisis, whatever, I don't really care. Go in. Nice. They like they got literally like no morale. Oh, get out of there. No! Oh, we got some reforms, too. Okay, so, so they actually want some re new reforms. Nice! We got some social reforms we can do here. Uh, let's see. We have political rights, cultural rights. I like that. But all allowed rights would be pretty darn cool to get. Child labor. I love child labor, but that hurts our educational abilities. I'm thinking I'm going to go with health care. Because as much as I want to do school system, assimilation actually goes down. I would like to do this one. More education efficiency. Education efficiency. Oh, my goodness. I want more population, though. i got to get population. Because we don't, our population is literally decreasing right now. I also have a new cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. Capital punishment, not bad. I'm going to keep that for quite a while, probably. This stuff I don't care about. What do the people want, actually? They want pro military. Um, that's it for a planned economy, free trade. Da, da, da. All allowed rights. I would actually really like that one too. But let's go with healthcare, just because that's usually pretty good. And then maybe some education efficiency as well. Come on, are you guys not in there yet? That's good. That's good. A reaction to Rock by Scandal, if you like to read about this, go right ahead. But it's outrageous. God dang it, we lost some money. Alright, so from here, we're at 8. Not bad, not bad, not great, but not bad. And we should also win this battle as well. Because even though we've... Oh, actually, we've got lower morale than them, that's not ideal. If we, yeah, look, oh, oh. A beer hall opening, if you like to read about this, go right ahead. I want a lower militancy. Lose a little bit of efficiency, but that's alright. Alright, so we won the battle. Is that going to be enough to piece them out? Yes, it is. Beautiful, my friends. So you guys go there. Actually, I called you up from somewhere else, and you're looking god-awful. Holy cow. All right, so we're going to have to move somewhere else. I'm going to drop you back off over there. And we got rebels down there. God dang it. Oh, what is this? Oh, God, France looks so bad. Hey, we can make a state here. Sure, French. Lesser Antilles. And that's here. Yeah, fresh West Indies. All right, that's the British version. Uh... You got some cotton. I don't got any money, so... Uh, declared Talamantan. That's fine. We're going to start lowering taxes. I mean, no wonder they're pissed off. It's part of them getting no needs met, so we'll go get them down here. Uh, actually, we can't do that yet. Mm. In the meantime, what do we want? Hainan? Oh, I kind of like Hainan. Just because it's a nice little area around here. And it's got a ton of population. Wow! That's a lot of people. I would like the silk down there, Zhang Jing, right there. They still got silk, and that's a good population. Tea. Uh, well, let's look at the price of tea. Cur oh, oh, there's there's silk. Top right five producers. Hey, Austria's making quite a bit. Actually, the Qing Empire's doing really really well with that. Right now, 0.78 percent of the population, or per world production, I should really say. 11 current price is not bad. Silk is not bad to have right now, at least from what it looks like, versus tea. Oh, I should make some tea, too. I kind of like tea. Yeah, tea. Uh, I, I prefer to have silk than tea. Uh, silk is better. And then we also have Hainan, Weihai, Shanghai. Shanghai over here as well. Weihai and Qingdao, which... That is a lot more than... I thought this had only 6,700 people there last time. Now it has 64,000. Jesus. Um, These guys are pretty close. I kind of prefer this province. But this wouldn't be too bad to get. Uh, let's go, Jia Jing, Qing. Uh, obviously, I don't pronounce it correctly, but Jia Jing is well known as a hometown of silk, and it's a famous producer of textiles and woolens. It's while not being as important as neighboring Shanghai, its acquisition would help, surely help our textile industry. Nice. 
Beautiful. Now let's put down some rebels. Actually, I'm going to put... Yeah, you guys... Let's see. Two out of one. You got none. That's not good. Uh, you guys go there. Yeah, I'm going to keep you over here then. That's fine. And you guys... Uh, you got to go back home. I'm going to deal with some rebellions. Hold on. Hold on. What the... Uh, There you go. Now head on out. Did I lose some ships? Uh, no. Oh, this is weird. Hey, more population growth. Great. Uh, but basically, I'm going to be. Oh, our prestige is third in the world. That's not bad. Oh god, did I glitch the game or something? I might have glitched the game. Uh, well, that's not good. Well, we got Jesus over here. The Jesus army. Well, I'll fix that off screen. Uh, all the comments we need to get to, like, uh, the French Revolution was an interesting event in history. Yes, it was. Uh, I hopefully, hopefully we won't, we, were, we won't repeat that. But, you know, you never know. I'll go over here so we can help out the... Oh, my goodness. Please get out. Okay, that's good. Just get out for now. That'll be okay. Uh, you're looking pretty bad, too. Let's see. Other comments go all the way to the Elba. Take the Spanish coast, especially the northern and eastern coast, the Alps, and Italy... We'll see. Siege Hainan and circle the island. That's what someone recommended to take out the Qing Chinese. And actually, I might just, de just demand large swaths of China from here on out as well. Maybe. Uh, someone recommends we try to get all historical French colonies. We can try. I want. I mean, I want pretty much all of Africa if we can. And violating Swiss neutrality, like I asked you guys yesterday, is a is a very bad idea. Because as you guys told me, and I was talking to Taki Senpai too about this. <clears throat> like, oh, liberty and landing the world. Ooh, I like that one. Oh, wait. U.S. Oh, we have to wait till America gets rid of slavery. Uh, they'll get over that eventually, because this basically you get 25 infamy, the neutrality will be gone. Everyone will hate us, and they get a cast ability on us. We don't even get a cast ability on them, which sucks. But I think I'll do that, like turning middle game ish or maybe near late game. But <clears throat> I think it's time for us to maybe make another trip to Algeria, Mexico. Maybe eventually once they get rid of this territory as well, or maybe just go back to Venezuela and Colombia. And here we are with the Polish Uprising. Poles and the Russian Empire, together with some other nationalities in the territory of the former Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, started a general uprising against the Russian government. There's an outcry from some of the sectors of our population to support Polish freedom, but there wouldn't be any problems if we stayed neutral on this matter either. And right now, we can core, basically core, the uh, French, which, West Indies, which actually I'm going to go ahead and do just because this costs us a little bit of colonial power, and we want to get as much colonial power later on, but it doesn't really matter to me right now. Actually, for us, here in the... Uh, French West Indies. It's not super French, but maybe they will become super French. So for this, hope the Poles, we don't have that much money. Uh, condemn the Russian Empire's actions. Uh, not bad, not bad. Ooh, but I don't want to go to war with Russia. Stay neutral. I condemn the Russian Empire's actions. And right now, we're basically going to go to war with Wari. Now, why Wari? Well, that is because they got a lot of population down there. And we can start thinking about, you know, taking out some other people. Get more population, get ready for the eventual rush to Africa, and that'd be a good, good old spot to begin at. So hopefully those guys will assimilate later on. We're now the, under the Bonapartiste Partai, and we've got acceptable school systems, which I think is pretty good. Not bad. And we have guys down here too. I want to give it at least one more month, so get our guys a little bit more strength first, so then we'll head back on the boats and go on over. Yeah, we really don't have that much money. By going to war with the Chinese, and by forcing them to pay us more money, this is probably a good idea. But well, we need to get more areas that have a lot more value to them. Because trying to get money as the French right now. Not very good. So if you have any ideas where I can maybe get a little bit more money. Please let me know in the comments below. Establish protectorate. Cool. Let's see what happens. And let's invade Bonnie. They don't look too strong. Uh, their score is 4. So I'm not super worried about it. So let's go and get this done and dusted with. And start beating up some people around here. Shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be. But you never know. And then we might go back to war with Colombia, just, just because, I don't know, I, would, I don't want to take out Colombia for some reason in this campaign. And, very nice. Oh, you know what? Eh, we could have waited a month. Oh, they're getting more morale too, that's not good. But we're cutting them down anyways. Uh, oh no, the UK, oh, I should have got Uruguay a little bit faster, that's alright. And, Prussia entered an alliance with them, which is not good. Which is actually kind of scary, not gonna lie, that's a little scary. Ah, uh, cut these guys out, that's fine. And hurry up and take them out. Cool. So we're three, 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 and we're second power in the world, which isn't which isn't too bad, obviously. So, <sighs> this budget is looking okay for now, ish. Oh, okay, nice, not bad. 
We don't have that much money, but we'll put a naval base here as well as some more roads or railways. Not too bad. Hmm. Up next. Oh, the took a little empire. It's not looking great. I might just go to war with these guys next. They have a lot of population down here, which is really good for getting another army going. So I think that's what we'll do. And before we head on out and blacken out. Oh, we're still at war with these guys. There we go. And, oh, Poland. Congress Poland always starts with no soldiers, which really sucks. So, they're probably going to end up dying. And here we are, everyone, which now, we last time we went towards Belgium, we took off Wallonia. Now it's time to go to Flanders instead of other places just because they're independent and alone again, which I think is pretty nice. And actually, the world is kind of on fire a little bit. We got a lot of points, but it's the British and the Portuguese versus the Dutch and the Russians, and Limburg and Luxembourg. <coughs> so, yeah, we'll see what happens. And the third Afghan liberation of Bukharan North. Bukharan North, wow. Go flippin' figure. Would you like to form an alliance? No, they will not. Okay, then. Whatever. And we've almost state and government done. Actually, I just right before I started re-recording, we actually had another major revolt. So, oh my goodness, I am not enjoying this as much as I hoped to, I would, but... Uh, so many revolts. Why? Oh, the French imperialism in Algeria. We have a colonial claim in Algeria region. That is, in all states in that region. It is most likely an excuse. Some old ruler passed away, stopping infighting and killing, unpaid debts, and harassment of French citizens and merchants, no matter the reason. What matters is that we have a new reason to expand French influence in Algeria's region and bring it into the fold. This event is a warning that the imperialism CB is available for even one of the more following country regions. Mozambique, Algiers, Yemen, Indonesia, Laos, Cambodia, Burma, Vietnam, or Malaysia. The CB doesn't need to be constructed. It gives 0.5 to 2 infamy and has random truce from 1 to 5 years. This one up here again. The region is one you have to stake in. You already have a province or a nearby province. March to Algeria. Sign us up. And we've got another thing down here. Very, very nice. Very, 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 very nice. And right now, actually, I've always wanted to do this over here. Uh, we've got intellectuals, which is good and all. Can we get some beer crafts? Oh, yeah, maybe we can get some beer crafts. That'd be kind of nice. And we'll go back to war with uh, Africa in just a little bit. Very, very good. And what is this? The Left Bank. During Napoleon's redrawings of the European map, the left bank of the River Rhine had been annexed to French proper. In 1840, France's Prime Minister Adolphe Thiers publicly stated that, in, in his opinion, the Rhine will still remain France's natural eastern border. With the hardships of the Napoleonic War still living in recent memory, the statement caused uproar in Germany, sparking what would become known as the Rhine Crisis. Oh, get more infant me. Ooh. Free cast Belli. Oh, that's kind of. Mm. Sure. Ooh, I'm not sure if I'll do anything with that, but we'll see what happens. Nationalism and imperialism will never hurt us, so let's go with that. And get rid of these guys if we can. Hey, we cut off 15,000. Not bad. Let's go march right on him. Oh, they attacked us. Well, they're mobilizing more and more and more. We have meritocracy for his aristocracy. Not bad, not bad. And cool, the Rhine question. The territories of the left bank of the Rhine, which French troops had conquered in 1795, have been returned to Germany, mostly Prussian control after the 1815 Congress of Vienna, forming the Rhine province. In 1856, France shifted its focus to the Rhine and the French government, led by Adolf Thiers, restarted its claim to the areas on the left bank, reestablishing the Rhine as its natural border. Ooh. What's we'll an apology to the Germans? No. And constitutional crisis, just because I need to switch it up around. It is what it is. Hopefully, Germany does not go to war with us yet. That would be quite bad at the current moment. And we're making a good amount of money, though, which is kind of nice, too. Yeah, but they're allied with the Prussians, which would not be very good. Would you like an alliance? No? Okay, then. Serbia? Um, probably not. Just, just probably not, so... Very, very good. And, oh, well, that's not very good now, is it? All right, now kill them all off. Tensions. Oh, good. No more tensions down there. We lost quite a few guys. So you're going to come over here and just kill every single one of them off. Sorry, Flanders or Flemish people. Nope, Netherlands. I'm not even going to give you access. Good. Get rid of them. You've given us enough trouble trouble here. And we'll probably have more revolt soon. I did go with all rights allowed for this stuff over here for reform. So all rights allowed. Not bad. Not bad. And let's go and put you back over here then. And we'll have these guys done very, very soon. Very good. Very, very good. Actually, are you guys out with this? No. We'll see what happens with those guys. Come on, I want Flanders. And we got a lot of money now. I like this. And just in case, I'm going to put you in Paris. Just because you never know if we're going to get more. Of oh, hey! Shippies. Not bad. Hey, we beat up the ships too. I love it. 
We get another one done? Great. Put you down in Alsace Lorraine for now. We got a lot of money. I like it. Which we might actually be able to reduce things too, so. And now we lost all the money because I want to expand some factories. Okay, you guys go over here too. Oh, never mind. You guys go to Montpellier because that would be good. And can we go to war with these? Oh, we can go to war with these. Annex Imperialism. Sure. Why not? Might as well not waste time, right? Cool. Now our SPC out and see what happens. Beautiful. I'll keep you all right here. Very nice. Mines Commission of 1856. The general findings of our commission are therefore these. Working conditions in the French coal fields fail to even achieve the basis of modicums of decency with regard to safety. These mines rely heavily on child labor for the next several of the more dangerous and filthy jobs. The youngest employee being a boy of mere nine years of age. Lighting is poor and ventilation scant in an environment that is pitch black with coal dust. Furthermore, the Mines and Fields Commission of 1856 has submitted to its final report on working conditions in the French coal fields and the verdict is harsh. Push through reform? So be it. I don't really care. Very, very good. And not bad. And I will I'll improve, these, improve these guys as well. But we're coming down here. It shouldn't be too bad. Obviously, we don't have as many armies as I would like. Uh, going to improve relations. Actually, off screen, these guys try to kill each other off. Uh, well, so our Didi and Piedmont try to do stuff down here, and they, they got wrecked. So, this actually might be a good time to go to war with these guys, actually. Yeah, we might actually go to war with the Dutch. Um, oh, we're, oh, come on. We're at war with Morocco as well. All right, get on the boat. Because actually, I sent one army from. Oh, we're two to two in the world. Look at that. We sent one army from here, Algeria, and sent them over here. So, there we go. Beat them up. If not, I'll send you guys too. Nope. I still might go to war with these guys as well, so we'll see what happens. Find them and kill them. How dare they do what they do? Alright, if you send another army down. Wow, that's a really bad looking army. Holy cow. Nice, we got that. Very good. Very nice. And they're going to move back here, which is fine, because I'm going to move down here again. Not bad. Actually, is there a peace deal? Political reform desire, nice. Populism versus establishment. And uh, they're still killing each other. I love it. And no more money again. It is what it is. It's an inflated industry, but whatever. Oh, they have no morale, so that's fine. Kill them off, please. Leave them with no peace. It's 1857. I still want to go to Mexico sometime. Would you like a proposal, peace, peace proposal? Nope. We're getting close, though. We're getting very close. And I guess we could send one thing here. There you go. Very nice, very nice. Cool, not bad. Not bad. And where's our ships? Okay, game. I hate sometimes how the engine just lags so hard when trying to uh, autosave. What do you expect? Oh, come on. Let's keep going. And you're still in the Ottoman sphere. That makes sense. Satellite of the Ottoman Empire. Actually, can we do anything else here? No, we can't do that. That sucks. Alright, so now we got him. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful and blue. Would you like a... Yeah, that's... There we go. Now that ain't too bad. Well, here we are, everyone, which right now... We are poised to go to war with the Netherlands just because they finished their war with the with the British. And their score isn't too high. Uh, however, uh, we got the war goal down here as well. Let's see, anything else? Oh, Bavarian... Uh, Austria, good. But we have quite a few things. So I finished up... We finished up, really. Nationalism and Imperialism, which is pretty good for us. But let's go read through the quite few events that we have to read to claim authority in the Holy Land. Up until now, the Russians have maintained sovereign authority over Christians in the Holy Land, authority that rightfully belongs to the Roman Catholic Church. It's time for that to change. Furthermore, the Holy Land can be a way of reuniting France after the political divisions of 48 to 49. The revolutionary left can be reconciled if it was engaged in a patriotic fight for liberty against the Gendarme of Europe. And the Catholic right has long been pre pressing for a crusade against orthodoxy that, to them, threatened Christendom and French civilization. Cool. Refuses our claim. 
The Ottoman government's refused their demand, stating that the 1774 Treaty of Kukuk Kainarka grants Russia authority over Eastern Christians and not France. More likely, they simple, simply fear what the Russians will do. A show of force combined with the intestine of a protective alliance might compel them, though that will certainly cause friction with the Russians. And there are some who say we should just discontinue this venture now while we still have the chance. Press them? Abandon the claims? Uh, press them. They agreed. The Ottoman Empire agreed that the French and Roman Catholic Catholic Church, Roman Catholic Church, should be the supreme Christian authority in the Holy Land, and have turned over control of Christian holy places, including the keys to the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem. This is in con contravention to the Ottoman Treaty with Russia. It will no doubt lead to conflict, but is at the same time a boon to a prestige. Nice. Very nice. Now, we're not making that much money, which is really bad, just because the money we get from the Chinese is basically gone, so it really sucks, but the Chinoin's Expedition in 67. 1867, really. At the behest of the Japanese shogunate at Edo, France sent a military mission to Japan to help train shogunate troops in the arts of Western warfare. The mission was led by then-captain Charles Chenoin, who would later go on to become France's Minister of War during the Brisson government in 1898. Sending a military mission to Japan and relations with them are sure to improve. Nice. Get prestige, relations go up higher, and get more research points. Very good. The Lambert Charter. The Lambert Charter was a document used by France to justify its many attempts into making inroads into and eventually annex the independent country and the island of Madagascar. The document was signed by Crown Prince Radama II, who had grown up under the influence of French expatriates on Madagascar, and purported to give France the right to extract minerals and other natural resources from the country, in return for 10% royalty payable to the Royal House of Madagascar. Nice. And then we have a new Alex New Caledonia. There is some interest within the French government of creating a penal colony, somewhere that enemies of the monarch could be sent, allowing them to be far away from the continent where they can do no harm. Admiral Favier Despontes reports that the island of New Caledonia off the coast of Australia might just do the trick. Considering the British have used Australia for the same purpose, who could object to us doing this similarly? Prestige, prestige, and militancy, non colonial, great. And the plan of 1858. Born into a lower class, or lower middle class family in Lille, Louis uh, Feyherba, as a sub director of engineers in the colonies of Senegal, he plays a central role in the implementation of the plan of 1858, a series of ministerial orders given to the governor, Protet of Senegal, that originated in the petitions from the powerful Bordeaux based Marel and Prom Compagnie. The largest shipping interest in St. Louis. The plan specified in detail the creation of forts along the Senegal River to end African control of the Akakia gum trade from the interior. Faid Arabs uh, pushed to rebuild fortifications farther out, generated conflicts with Protet, and his protests to Paris over Pro Protet's in action quickly awarded him some sympathy in the government. If we were to simply appoint him to chief of battalion and the governor of the colony, we could quickly put the plan in action to take control of the coastal Wolof kingdoms. Not bad, but we, lose, we get more, one more infamy, which I might just spend some time cutting down infamy from here on out, but we get another place, very nice. And the Valley of the Kings. Uh, the place, Egypt, is a potentially endless source of new archaeological discoveries. By petitioning the government for a monopoly to carry out excavations in the Valley of the Kings, we can ensure that we make these fantastic discoveries rather than other great powers. Slightly more infamy, but hey. The government of Egypt has granted us the exclusive right to excavate and investigate ancient ruins in the Valley of the Kings. The potential discoveries there will prove an enormous opportunity for us to increase our scientific renown in the world. Excellente. And change your border policy. I think that's it for now, which is good. Uh, Ottoman Empire, I would like to see these guys break away so we can get to the Suez. If we can get that, great. If not, whatever. Especially since we don't have that much money. But it's time for us to go to war with the, the simple Dutch. They are allied with... And it, with the Russians, but Friesland would be cool, but I want Dutch Zealand just because it would look better for us. And USA, the Ottomans, Sicilies, Papal States, Pope, yes. Call all of our allies in. Let's move on in, my friends. Uh, do we have anything else around here? Our ships aren't really that great, so we'll see what happens. Um, oh, actually, I don't want to forget these guys down here, too. It, it, it won't matter. Oh, the US actually didn't join, huh? Usually they, I, they said they would, but hey, I guess not. And we did some, have some rebels down here too, which really sucked, but whatever, you know. Uh, nope, time to send you guys home. Hopefully you don't die on the way over. But if you do, just go there then. We have another army down there. Oh, we're fighting the Russians. Well, as long as we take what we want from them, we'll be okay. Oh. Well, that's not good for you guys. Find the army. And dispose of them if you can. Good. Find them and kill them off. So we're going to mobilize... Uh, Austria, can we get improved relations, maybe? Obviously, going to war when you have a deficit is not a good idea, but hey, whatever. Uh, they're mobilizing. 
If we kill enough of them off, we don't need to full siege them down, so that would be actually really nice. And... Oh, who are you? Oh, uh, Limburg. We're at war with them too, probably. Nice. Let's keep doing what we're doing. We're having a good old time here. Yeah, no. Actually, you guys go here first, and then go there, and then you guys go right there. Yeah, the Pope arrived. And his Pope mobile, hopefully. Or his horse. Nice. Oh, what's his war score now? Since I mean, we're just killing mobilized soldiers. Hey, we're number one in the world for prestige. Look at that. Nice. Oh, no. Not a time like this. Please, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you guys. Okay, so that's not too bad. That's a lot less than I thought. Uh, I don't think we have any other reforms that I've done off screen. Oh, look at that. Actually, our national value is liberty. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, that's not bad. We're Bonapartist for now. I don't think any other things have happened yet. We have we're, we're an article liberal party, but I think I've already said that before. So, uh, all the rest of We have a good school system now, which is really nice. So, education, slightly useful. Ever so slightly useful. Actually, let's go. Can we do this yet? When can we. Ah, oh, we can negotiate for the, with the war leader, huh? Wow, we need a lot of score for this. Well, so be it. Where's the source of the Nile? The Royal Geographic Society is announcing a war will be presented to the first explorer to determine the source of the Nile. Uh, we'll consider it. I'd rather lose prestige for now. Nice. Morale, war exhaustion. And we're out of money. Which is not good. The Annex, Annex New Chatel. Good, kill them off. Uh, sorry, Greece, we can't really afford that. I gotta get rid of this stuff, too. You guys go there. You guys go to there, I believe. Get No, it's right there. Kill off their army. Siege them full down. Nice. And go to Amsterdam. That'd be nice, right? Right. Hey, look. Another army. Or another brigade to throw in there. Now, let's take a look. So, I'm going to cut this all the way down. Why can't we get what we need? Uh, because steamer convoys cost a lot, and so do regular clothes. Uh, I don't want to tax you guys anymore. We can tax this class a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just, just a tiny bit more. Oh, Empire of Mexico? Oh, actually, what's going on over here? Oh, they kind of like us. I still want to take them out, though. Oh, hello. The North German Federation formed. Well, that's not good. Which means they might go to war with us any time now. Now they're considered a great power. I know I could have done something about them, but it is what it is. In the meantime, maybe we'll just increase relations with them. They don't like us that much, though, which is not very good, but hey. Oh well, right? You guys aren't looking too good, but see what you can do about these guys. Not bad. We'll siege them out, then. Because I don't really want to fight the Russians. I really don't. But the Pope is, so good luck, Pope man. Good luck. You're going to need it. We have Colonial Russia. If you'd like to read about that, go right ahead. And I'll do that one right now. That's so dumb we can't piece them out separately. Uh... Well, we're going to be at war for a long, long time then. If you refuse to piece us out. So, not, not really much else we can do about that. Determinism is nice. Let's see. We've got vaccinations. are nice to stick people with needles. Kind of a fun thing to do. And we'll definitely help the guys out down here, too. Don't get me wrong. Uh, no, I don't want to go to war with those guys. And if Germany goes to war with me, I'm just going to give them whatever they want. I don't want to deal with them, to be honest with you. We'll get, we'll do whatever we need to do against the Germans during a great war. It's not going to be easy, but it's fine. And we're also doing army decision making, giving us slightly more power, hopefully. Alright, not bad. Uh, that's already been taken out, and I guess it's time to go through down here. Come to turn in. Oh! Whoa! Portuguese colonial. Yes! Yes! They mobilized. Yes, they're at war with Russia now, too. That is good. That is. Wait. Okay, yeah. They have 181. Nice. I hope the war exhaustion just goes up, 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 which I kind of doubt it will, but hey, you never know. National fraternity, less war exhaustion, more plurality, not bad. Number one still in the world for prestige. We have a very prestigious nation. 
Uh, yes, if you'd like to move through my land, that is fine with me. Kill some enemies, mutual enemies, yeah, that'd be very good. Head on in. Alright, we gotta be ready for the war. Well, I guess technically during this time we're just expanding a war, war with these guys too. Russia. Oh, we're at 50%, nice. Maybe just a little bit more and we'll do relatively okay then. Oh, no, why are you attacking? No! Why are you doing relatively okay? You know, get the heck out of there. No, come on. Why did you attack? That's so dumb. I didn't think they'd move that quickly down there. Where's my other army? There you are. Come to Nice. Down to expedition is stranded. No, no, no. He, we'll, we'll go get him. Well, that looks like a really, really weak army, but that's okay. These guys will be done soon. Stop it. Stop moving. Ugh. There we go. All right. So, come to this place. Actually, just go right there. Because when I attack, I want to make sure we do it well. Hopefully, if we attack here, we'll do okay. Let's see what's going on. They're still killing each other. Nice. Screw it. We're going to go in. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Now we're peace. Now that's not too bad, I'd say. Obviously, it's not exactly what I want, but now we got to focus on our budget. And I might just spend some more time just cutting down infamy. And obviously, we got to go back to war with China because we love China. God dang it, there's still people over here. And here we are with a pact of... Was it Plomberes? We've been approached by a Sardinian envoy, the Count of Cavour, who has made an interesting proposal in an alliance to make war against Austria, gaining Sardinia the Austrian-held provinces of Lombardy. In exchange, Sardinia would hand over Savoy and Nice to France. It's an interesting idea, and one that allows France to take a role that would not paint us as aggressors. Shall we begin? Or shall we agree? So, uh, off screen, the Germans went to war with us, and I they or I just gave them Alsace reign just because I couldn't do anything about them. They're allied to the Brits. I can't fight a two front war against the Brits who wouldn't be bailing in the Germans, so I just said, just go ahead, have it. You can deal with the people down here, which really, really sucks, but hey, it is what it is. But we do have the French language school. A motion has been put forward by the minister, Jules Ferry, namely that not only should schooling in France be free, but that it must be solely be in French. Languages de Oc and other forms of patois, patois must be stamped out so that France has cultural unity. That, he says, will give our nation the strength it needs to be fully modern. Cool. French language schooling. Search for the GNC. That's cool. Pretty cool. And right now, we could go to a two-year draft, but I kind of don't want to hurt this too much starting experience. Um, I kind of want to do that. I do want to end up going to war, but our budget isn't very good. I've already canceled all uh, subsidies for these guys, too. I don't want to lower the administrative stuff, but if we have to, I will. That's not France's best interests. Nah, we'll agree to the pact. I don't want to go to war. I really don't want to go to war at all. Oh, boy. Hey, at least... Actually, the Ottomans are, have, did join us, so we are fighting some Italian boys, too. So this will probably be the last little thing before we end this episode. Oh, we have... A much bigger army than they do. That's actually really nice. Obviously, we've got no money, but hey. That's okay, right? So, the goal is for us to take out these small little boys first. Oh, I keep seeing that. I just want to change it up. Hopefully, the Germans don't do anything against us. Okay, at this point, this is costing us too much. I don't want to do this. But, education. I mean, it costs too much. It just costs too much right now. And fleets, you got to go lower, too. Like, we can't afford all this. I hate to say it, but there's nothing we can do. So, please, like I said earlier, uh, leave it in the comments, how do you make more money? How do you guys make more money in Victoria 2? Because I usually don't ever have this problem. Like, it doesn't make too much sense to me why we're having this much, this many issues. Um, trying to get more money. He's good on defense. How about you? Are you good on attack? You're good on defense, too. Uh, for the love of God, I hope we don't have... Why do we have so much consciousness? Infamies, I, I mean, yeah, it sure got, went a little higher, but that should not go up, you know, that much, but whatever. Uh, at least tensions dissipate, that's good. Head on down here, let's take them out first. And if they attack us, we'll be ready, of course. Uh, let's go down here, yeah. CG's these guys out first, destroy them. Nice, 12,000 Italians gone bye-bye, pretty good, pretty good. Mm, if they attack, I want to help out, the, ooh. What's going on down here, not much. Yeah, education stuff. I mean, it is what it is. I, we can't afford anything. France is just bankrupt all the time now. Like, we should be doing way better than this, but I guess we're not. Hmm. Oh, God, the Pope doesn't have that much morale. Help him out. Get them in there. 
Good. Oh, we're calling the Spanish. Yeah, we are allied to the Spanish. Tuscany, no. Oh, we lost 20,000 soldiers, but whatever. Let's go and take these guys out. There you go. Well, if you're getting involved, Spain, I guess I'll help you out too. Why not? I guess we get more, more population. That's kind of finally nice. Uh, they're still doing stuff to us, which is not very good, but whatever. I don't think the Spanish military is super strong, so yeah. Italy is a battlefield. Oh, Tuscany. No. Why? Because that would limit our way into here, so. That's mainly why. Mm -hmm. Not bad. I thought Austria Hungary would be more difficult than this. Is there a blue line around here? Huh. Yeah, there is sort of a blue line ish around there. They're attacking into the mountains. That's a really bad idea. But that's not us, so I don't really care. Oh, where is it? Source of the Nile? Uh, we'll consider it, but no. I can't afford that right now. <sighs> It sucks not having money. Oh boy. Luxembourg. Um, wait. They're in... Friendly. Who's... F oh, they're in the German sphere. No, 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 no. You piece of garbage. Alright, there we go. How many men do you want to kill off Austria-Hungary? How many must die? Oh, there you go. Nice. Uh, is that what we really wanted in this war? Yeah, that's pretty much. 88. Alright, I guess that's it then. Nice. Oh, look at that! They got... What the... What the heck? Wait, so they got all this, but they didn't get... What, what the garbage? Oh, look at this. We can get a state down here. Nice. That's actually really nice. Got some Frenchy French files down here too. Anything else about this? Yes, yes, yes. What do people want? Trinket minimum wage. They could revolt, which is, wouldn't be good. But child labor. Uh, we'll wait. We'll wait for that. Right. That's good. Hey, at least we're not looking too bad. We helped our ally down here too. So you guys are gonna go on home, have a good old time right there. Wait, why is there three thousand guys here? Um, and then you guys head on up to here. And you guys go up to there. I'm not sure why we're able to walk through these guys, but whatever. Oh, we have uh, some guard division? Alright. And now we're losing more money, but that's okay. So now we can cut this down a little bit more. I'm going to leave that there and cut this down even more. We need just... This is why I like terrorists a little bit. Oh, let's pay us. Oh, we have no debt. Nice. Cool. So I think that might just end it here for us just for now. Uh, overall, we have 58%. I would like to go to war with more people soon, and which we will. So, we'll see what happens in the next episode. Please let me know, though, how you would get more money in Vicky 2. Because France just seems to be... We're having so much troubles with cash right now, which I really don't like. I'm probably going to go to war with Mexico next. But we got a Savoy here, which is great. Regardless, if you enjoyed the episode, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow when we shall have another good time in Victoria 2. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.